Six seven rotation. Rotation means turning a shape around a constant point. So let's give some examples. Now I have one shape. Let's rotate it ninety degrees. And as you see, the difference between the two shapes. So it's taken that way and rotated here. So we turn around this constant point. Let's change the constant point to the that one here at this corner. So rotate it again. 90 degrees as you see from here you take it and flip on the laser to turn it around this point this time so of course it doesn't really have to be on the shape it can be uh, far away from this shape but let's copy it let's rotate on this point around this constant corner so to do this point not uh, on the shape this time let's rotate it 90 degrees you see the point is here but when you take it and rotate it 90 degrees it's become here so rotation doesn't have to be all the time on the uh, shape so the constant point must can be far away from the shape that's the rotation taking it rotating around this point okay let's see uh, some examples what kind of questions in the book tell whether uh, each transformation appeared to be a rotation or not Okay, that one is look like rotation. Why? Uh, from this corner, you can take it and rotate it until here. That's 90 degrees rotation. That's not a rotation. That's more look like reflection. That's translation, not rotation again. You can even you rotate any point. It's not. That's a rotation. It's rotate as constant point probably someplace here. And let's rotate around this point. So these two are rotation. One and four are rotation. Two and three is not rotation. Now when we come to coordinate plane, there are two rules. When you rotate a point on the coordinate plane uh, 90 degrees so of course we are turning uh, anti-clockwise for this rule so if we have a coordinate x and y so the when you rotate it 90 degrees it's become minus a and x so you coordinate x and y place and x become uh, the the new x become negative such as what if you rotate 5 3 90 degrees anti-clockwise the new coordinate will be minus 3 and 5 or about 180 degrees uh, if you have x and y it's directly come the negative one so you will multiply by minus 1 each uh, value such as if we have 5 3 and rotate this 5 3 180 degrees so minus 1 times 5 minus 5 minus 1 times 3 minus 3 that's the new uh, coordinate after 180 degrees rotation for 180 degrees anti-clockwise or clockwise doesn't matter but for 90 degrees we use anti-clockwise uh, in our book of course there is a rule about uh, clockwise it's you can figure out uh, for the clockwise okay let's see some examples rotate these uh, coordinates 90 degrees so what is it uh, that's x and that's y so e is minus 1 2 so when I flip it what will happen the after rotation the e become minus 2 minus 1 times 2 and minus 1 so that's the new e because become uh, minus 2 minus 1 that's all or the f is 3 and 1 that's sorry after rotation the new f will be minus 1 and 3 so you change the replace and you multiply x here with the minus 1 or the g is 2 and 3 and it's become the new g become minus oh sorry not equal the coordinate minus 3 and 2 that's all again 90 degrees rotation uh, a minus 1 and 0 after the rotation, 0 times my negative uh, number, so negative 1 is become 0, so 0 and minus 1. And for B, that's uh, minus 1, minus 3, so that's going to be equal minus minus 3, so sorry, I forget the B coordinate name. After rotation, B become minus minus 3 and minus 1. So what is it? New B equal my negative time negative three. It's will positive three. So three and minus one. And there's a C 
1 and minus 3 by the same idea the new C will be called minus minus 3 and 1 so the new C equal 3 and 1 plus 1 is 1 and 0 so the D equal 1 and 0 it's going to be new D 0 and 1 these are 90 degrees rotation I forget to close the parentheses let's continue 180 degrees uh, rotation so what we do we will only multiply by 1 so such as what P 0 and 2 after the 180 degrees it's become minus 0 let's write it minus 2 so minus 0 negative so times negative 1 times 0 is negative uh, 0 so 0 doesn't get signed so I'm sorry why I use degree here it's not a okay, new uh, so P will be equal 0 and minus 2 or Q will be equal it's minus 2 and 0 actually we only change their sign for 180 degrees you can directly there change the sign so the new Q will be 2 and 0 or the R will be minus 3 and 3 only change their sign the new R positive 3 negative 3 so change the uh, now value sign you can do uh, you can think about this uh, example stop the video if you like and solve yourself L 2 and 0 after the rotation 180 degrees minus 2 and 0 or M is minus 1 minus 2 after the rotation M going to be 1 and 2 only change their sign then there is an N 2 and minus 2 change their sign N will be minus 2 and I only change their side now their places that's important when we uh, rotate 180 degrees not their places on their sign that's all for this uh, video thanks for listening